All right, thanks for joining me today. My name is Jose Villablanca, and I'm a holistic lifestyle coach and a personal trainer. Now, today's topic will be about why you've stopped seeing results in the gym. And the most common mistake I see is that people do the same workout over and over again. It's so repetitive, so they need to change it up. Now, it could be if you're just running all the time or on the treadmill every single workout or say spinning every single time. These are all great workouts, but you need to change it up. So you need different types of workouts to get a different type of result because your body will get used to the same workout and you need to challenge your body enough so that it would make changes. So if it's getting too hard, the workouts are getting too hard, your body will adapt by gaining strength, gaining lean muscle tissue and burning that excess fat that just slows you down. Another common mistake is despite changing workouts every single month, ideally, you're still not intensifying the workouts. So a lot of people just go through the motions, but they don't make it hard enough that their body will see the changes. So you need to make sure that, and it doesn't have to be every single workout, that you change the intensity level. Because if you're always at high intensity, your body needs to recover. But some days you need some mid-intensity workouts or low-intensity where that can be just walking or or you know swimming or anything that is not even yoga anything that's not really too hard but you're still exercising pumping blood in and out of your system the next is that you stay with the same group every time now that's great if the group is progressing but if the group that you're hanging out with don't share the same goals as you then maybe it needs you need to ch start changing your group and going for a fitter group now there's nothing wrong with changing up the group and if your friends are your friends they will start to challenge themselves with you. So if you spend time with people and you are the fittest in the group then that means you won't progress because you will naturally gravitate to what their workouts are. I like the saying where if you're around pigs don't be surprised when you find mud all over you because obviously pigs like the mud and they you know roll around it so you're gonna get dirty regardless you are the average of your five closest friends. Now, if your friends like to party, they like to drink, they like to socialize, that's great. But you can't keep doing that if you have different goals as your friends. So maybe you need to have more gym friends, friends who are active and they like to spend their time, say, rock climbing or doing something um, that is highly focused on physical activity. Now, I myself have friends that like to cook, that like to meal prep that like to eat out at healthy restaurants. And I'm sure you could find those friends too. It's not that hard. Now there's a saying, abs are built in the kitchen. So it doesn't matter how hard you work out because in simple math, obviously there are um, other factors to this, but calories in versus calories out. So if you're working out great, that's a good thing. But you also need to couple that with high quality foods. So nutrition is a big thing here. Some people like to justify eating a hamburger or a cheeseburger after a hard workout because they worked hard for it. But that will just slow you down. In fact, you should actually eat better because you're working out so hard in the gym. Now that makes sense to me. Another great thing that people come to see me or any other personal trainer out there is because they need the motivation and accountability. I would highly suggest looking for a support group. Again, coming back to finding the right friends that support the same goals as you. You can hold them accountable to their goals and they can do the same for you as well. And this will greatly affect your motivation and you know accountability is a big thing. So that's why having a gym buddy really helps. If you don't have a gym buddy, try to find one. I'm sure you can make friends at the gym. That's not that hard to do. Another great thing is you really need to schedule workouts. Put it in your calendar. Put it in your iPhone calendar. Put it in your Android ca calendar. Whatever cell phone you have. Because when you put this in your calendar, you make it real. It's just like an appointment for a meeting or your doctor's appointment. And don't just work out when you have time because you'll never find time if you just, you know, find free time. Nobody has free time this day and age. Another thing, great thing you need to do, and write this on paper because it really makes a big difference compared to putting it on your electronic device, is putting down your goals. You need to find your short-term goals. You need to know what your long-term goals Sometimes I like to do start with the long-term goal and reverse engineer. So say my yearly goal, as you can see here at the bottom of the bullet points. Then I work my way back to a quarterly goal or every three months. And then monthly goals and then weekly goals. 
so you see if you're on track to your yearly goal. I know one year from now sounds like really far away from you right now, but this is really necessary because ask yourself, are you better off today than you were a year ago? It's all about progression and not perfection, okay? So as long as you are better than you were the day yesterday, then that's great. And a year from now will just fly by that fast. So again, make sure you have short-term goals, long-term goals, and weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly goals as well, just to see and track if you're on the right track. One great thing that people easily neglect is water. And now our body is about 70% water. If you want lean muscle tissue, it's about the same amount of water as well. So drinking enough water for your body would make a big difference. Now, drinking half of your body weight in ounces should be the amount of water you should drink throughout the day. So in other words, if you weigh 100 pounds, you should be drinking 50 ounces throughout the day. Now, if you're not drinking 50 ounces right now, I'm sure you don't weigh 100 pounds, but if you're not drinking 50 ounces right now, then you can build up to it. So if you're drinking 30 ounces right now, tomorrow try to drink 35. And then the next day drink 40 ounces until you get to 50. And there are other things that dehydrate you like caffeine, like sugary soda pops, like alcohol. So if you drink those drinks, make sure you, you offset that by drinking the same amount of water. And then you can increase the value of your water by adding trace minerals to it by adding a pinch of sea salt. Don't worry, it won't taste salty, but it does help and make you not as full as you would feel when you're drinking water. I highly suggest moving every day. Now, it doesn't have to be working out every day, but any type of exercise. And stretching is exercise too. And if you're just putting 30 minutes a day into your stretch on the days off, that's just 1 48th of your day. I'm sure you can dedicate 30 minutes each day just to stretch. Now it doesn't have to be every day again. This is just the days that you're off when you don't feel like working out because of other things like stress levels. Maybe you're too busy on that day, but I'm sure you can dedicate some time to stretching because if you really want to get to your goals, you will carve out time. You will make time. Another great thing that people neglect is that they forget there are ups and downs. It doesn't matter. Even if you're going to the pinnacle of your fitness, there are some dips on the way and having the right mindset will really help. So you need to know there will be ups and downs. And you need to know that on those down days, it's okay. That's part of the process. You take it day by day. And then when you're ready again, you go. But just don't give up. Because this is a progress. And this is a journey. So you just need to enjoy the ups with the downs. There can't be the peaks without no valleys. There can't be happiness without sadness. There can't be joy without sadness, right? So there is that duality of life and you need to know that it's not always going to be a great day every day. Now I want to give you the tools to success. Let me help you. If you haven't achieved your goals yet, maybe it's time to look into hiring a coach. Now feel free to email me here at holistichose at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram at holistichose. Join my page at holistichose, my Facebook page. And lastly, feel free to join my private group where you could do, we could download some really cool stuff, some tools as well and they're all free. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you on my next presentation. Bye now.